Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel Video Tutorials. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the use of easy pivot and heat maps in Sigma Excel. One of the most powerful features in Excel is the pivot table. Sigma Excel's easy pivot tool simplifies the creation of pivot tables using the familiar X and Y dialog box found in Sigma Excel. Click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Easy Pivot, Pivot Charts. Select Use Entire Data Table and click Next. Select Major Complaint and click Count Category X1. Select Customer Type and click Group Category X2. Select Size of Customer and click Group Category X3. Click OK. The resulting pivot table of major complaint by customer type shows the counts for each major complaint, X1, broken out by customer type, X2, for all sizes of customers, X3. To display counts for a specific customer size, click the arrow adjacent to size of customer. Select Large. Click OK. The pivot chart can be seen by clicking the Easy Pivot Chart tab. Drag size of customer from Report Filter to Access Fields, shown under Pivot Chart Fields, to the right of the chart, and Excel will automatically split the pivot chart showing both large and small customers. Select Sheet 1 of Customer Data. Click Sigma Excel. Graphical Tools, Easy Pivot, Pivot Charts. Click Next. Select Customer Type and click Count Category, X1. Select Size of Customer, click Group Category, X2. Select Product Type and click Group Category, X3. Select Overall Satisfaction and click Numeric Response, Y. Note that the label for X1 changed from count category to group category. The pivot table data will now be based on Y data. Uncheck Create Pivot Charts. The response default uses a sum of Y. This, however, can be changed to average or standard deviation. Select Average. Click OK. The generated pivot table now contains averages of the customer satisfaction scores, Y. Again, product type X3 can be varied to show consumer, manufacturer, or all. Double-clicking on average of overall satisfaction allows you to switch to standard deviation. Click Recall Sigma XL Dialog, or press F3 to recall the last dialog. You can remove previous selections in a dialog box by selecting the item and clicking the Remove button, or by double-clicking the item. Select Average Days of Order to Delivery, Loyalty, Likely to Respond, Overall Satisfaction, and click Numeric Responses, Y. Select One Pivot Table. Click OK. This produces a pivot table showing the average of the three responses broken out by customer type and size of customer. Again, product type can be varied. We will now reanalyze this data using a heat map. Use the heat map graphical tool to display counts or summary statistics in pivot table format with results gradient color coded. Minimum is dark blue to maximum dark red. This allows you to easily slice and dice your data, quickly look at different X factors and their contribution to the total or summary statistics, typically the mean, aided by the color coding. Up to three row categories and three column categories are permitted. If an optional numeric response is not specified, Sigma Excel will use counts as a statistic to display. If a numeric response is specified, the following statistics are available. This provides a much more versatile set of descriptive statistics than are available in Sigma Excel's Easy Pivot or Excel's Pivot Table. Click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Heat Map. Select Major Complaint and click Row Categories. Select Customer Type and click Column Categories. As mentioned, if optional numeric response is not specified, the heat map table data is based on counts. Click OK. This is a heat map of counts of major complaints by customer type. Dark red highlights the maximum count. Dark blue highlights the minimum count. Heat map colors can be changed using Excel's conditional formatting. Select the data excluding row and column headers, click Home, Conditional Formatting, and Color Scales. 
Note that this matches the pivot table example given earlier. Now, we'll add size of customer to the column categories. Click Recall Sigma Excel dialog menu or press F3 to recall the last dialog. Select Size of Customer and click Column Categories. Click OK. The resulting heat map of count for major complaint by customer type, size of customer, is shown. This shows that the largest number of complaints are for return calls, which appear to be occurring more frequently to customer type 2, large or small. We'll now use the heat map tool to analyze the customer data as done with the easy pivot example of 3x's and 1y. Select sheet 1. Click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Heat Map. Click Next. Select Customer Type and click Row Categories. Select Size of Customer and click Column Categories. Select Overall Satisfaction. Click Optional Numeric Response. Use the default statistic Mean. Click OK. The generated heat map now shows mean of overall satisfaction by customer type and size of customer. These results match the pivot table generated in the previous example. Now we'll add product type to the column categories. Click Recall Sigma Excel dialog or press F3 to recall the last dialog. Select Product Type and click Column Categories. Click OK. The resulting heat map of mean of overall satisfaction by customer type and size of customer product type is shown. This heat map shows that the maximum customer satisfaction score is dark red for when customer type 2 size is large and the product type is consumer. However, mean overall satisfaction scores are lowest for customer type 1 when size of customer is large and product type is manufacturer. Here we will consider the mean of overall satisfaction by customer type. Click Recall Sigma Excel dialog or press F3. Remove size of customer and product type from the column categories selection box by double clicking them or clicking Remove. Click OK. Customer type 2 has the highest mean satisfaction score of 4.2, which is highlighted in red. We will now use the heat map tool to analyze other statistics for overall satisfaction by customer type. Click Recall Sigma Excel dialog menu or press F3. Select the statistic, Standard Deviation. Click OK. The resulting heat map of standard deviation of overall satisfaction by customer type is shown. From the previous example, we saw that customer type 2 had the highest mean overall satisfaction score. This heat map shows that customer type 2 also has the lowest standard deviation on overall satisfaction, which is desirable because this means that they're consistently satisfied. Now, we will reanalyze the data using medians. Click Recall Sigma Excel dialog menu or press F3 to recall the last dialog. Select the statistic, Median. Click OK. The heat map median of overall satisfaction by customer type is shown. Note that customer type 2 has the highest median score, which agrees with the mean. Next we'll analyze percent with overall satisfaction less than 3.5 the percent of dissatisfied customers. Click Recall Sigma Excel dialog menu or press F3. Select statistic percent less than specified value and enter 3.5 for specified value. Click OK. The resulting heat map of percent less than 3.5 for overall satisfaction by customer type is shown. Customer type 2 has the minimum percent dissatisfied customers. Now we will look at a presentation of heat maps given by our CTO, John Noguera, in part one of the webinar series, What's New in Sigma Excel version 10? We're going to use year as a column category. And what we have are mobile cellular subscriptions per 100 people by region and year, global region. This is from the World Bank data. It's freely accessible. With that URL, you can get the data yourself. I have filtered the data so that I'm only looking at regions and I'm looking from 1990 to 2021. Now, let me go back and pull that data up. 
This is the data and it has the region, the year, and the mobile cellular subscriptions per 100 people. Now this data set will be available with the PowerPoint because it's not part of the sample data. This is something we added for this webinar. So we have, again, graphical tools, heat map, and I'll put region in the row category. I'll put year as the column category and the cellular subscriptions per 100 people. And we'll look at the mean and run that. Takes a few seconds to produce it. And here we can see that in 1990, the dark blue shows that it's a very low usage in terms of uh, mobile phones. And as I scroll across the time, you can start to see, well, first Europe and Central Asia and North America. But then as we continue on, the rest of the world catches up. All right. And granted, still in 2021, you know, there's there's a divergence, but it's, uh, you know, it's pretty common, regardless of where you are in the world, to have a, a mobile phone. And what's interesting is if you look in some of these numbers, people have more than one subscription. So that's basically your people who have business phone and a, a personal phone. You know, that would be probably the best or the most likely explanation as to why there are more than 100 mobile subscriptions per 100 people. Okay, so again, it's just a nice visual using time or using year as your column and you can scroll across and get that nice visual. So that's kind of a nifty application of the heat map. This concludes the tutorial video for Easy Pivot and Heat Map. For more videos, visit www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.